Hello, in this video we show you some of the screen lock security options including a pin, password and face unlock on the Google Nexus 5. So at the moment we've got the device switched on but if I just power off the screen and then power it on again to access the device currently all I need to do is swipe the screen like that and that's pretty much the default setting on the Nexus 5. So you can see how easy it would be for someone to access the content of your phone should they get hold of it and you don't have any other method than that swipe on screen to unlock the device. So there are a variety of different security options that are available to you and we're going to run through these now to give you an overview of what they can do for you and how to set them. So to change the security options you need to go into the settings so go through your app tray, find your settings icon and click on that and you'll get taken to the settings menu where you need to scroll through until you find security. Tap on security and the option at the top will be your current security method. So more than likely it will be slide. However, it would show other security methods if you were using them. You tap on that and you get taken through to a range of lock screen options that you have. Now, if you were already using a different method, you'd be asked to enter that security method to see this screen. So at the moment we've got slide enabled where we're having to physically slide our finger across the screen to unlock it. You do have the option for none which is simply a power button on and off which is e well even less secure I suppose. You've then got face unlock um, which is an innovative feature that uses the front facing camera on the device to recognize your face and all of these security methods get stronger as you go up so uh, password being the most secure option. If we go into face unlock it explains what it basically does um, so it uses your face uh, as, a, as a password essentially for the device. Um, it's not as secure as a pin or a password and someone who looks similar to you could unlock your phone so if you're happy you click set it up it gives you some tips the best result and then you click continue and now you can see there's a little face icon around here and what we have to do is line this up with the face and as it does it'll go around and highlight each of the dots green and once all of the dots are green you know it's registered your face so I'm going to line it up with my face here you might just see in shot that it's turning the icons green so that takes five seconds or so and once captured gives you a tick and you click continue. You then have to put a backup password um, or in or pin sorry or pattern so I'm going to choose pin and I'm just going to a simple one two three four it has to be four digits click continue enter it once more so this is there if um, for whatever reason it can't take a picture of your face so click OK. So now if I turn the screen off and then back on it's going to look for my face I line it up and there it's recognized me. You have to be quite quick because if I power it on and it doesn't see my face within a few seconds goes away and now I have to enter the pin code and now I'm into the device. Now I want to change this method to show you another one so it's asking me to confirm the backup pin again. Done. So I'm now going to show you pattern. So pattern's a bit more secure than face unlock and what you do is you join up these dots essentially in any pattern you like. So we're just going to go for a simple L pattern but you can make it sort of as complicated as you like. So you enter that once, you click continue you enter it a second time you can always cancel but if you're happy to proceed click confirm and now we've got this on screen put the L shape in and we've unlocked the device so to change it I'm having to enter it again and now I'm going to show you pin fairly similar to the face unlock uh, backup option here so you enter the pin it's got to be at least four digits when you're happy you click continue, you're asked to confirm it, it must match to proceed, click OK and now I have to enter the pin to be able to access the device, enter it correctly and I'm in. I'm going to change it for the last time to password. So this is the most secure method because you can use letters, numbers and characters. So I'm going to simply use test one, two, three, four. Now it must be a minimum of 
four characters in total. So I click continue. I confirm it again by entering the exact same password. I could always go back and change it if I wanted to. So once I've entered that, I click OK. They've matched and now my screen option or security option is password. Power on. And now I've got the keyboard on screen to enter the password. So enter that. Click done. And I'm into the device. And then I can go back in, enter it one more time within the settings menu to make any changes that I wish and I can change back to a less secure method if I want. So that's the lock screen security options on the Google Nexus 5.